Greetings once again. This time I'll be talking about a certain platform that we will be using for collaboration and uh, for sharing notes with one another. This is called Academiacs and we will be focusing on its feature called study groups. So what is Academiacs? Basically Academiacs is a social studying or social learning platform and its study groups will allow you to have online collaboration with your group mates, do note sharing, involve in forums, in chat rooms, and have virtual classrooms where you can write down your notes or your lectures, your own lectures on a virtual whiteboard where you can, your group mates can see it. At the same time, you can give them permission to do the same and have the whole session recorded for future viewing. So the people who started Academiacs are David Siskin, who's the founder, and Joan Kincaid, who's the CEO. They're gracious enough to give us the opportunity to be pilot students and teachers, or pilot groups, for their platform. And uh, this is the link that we can use to log in. We have our own landing page http colon slash slash academiacs.org slash en for English slash up for our school. As you can see, you can log in by Facebook and Google login. I'll be giving you a short tutorial on how to use your UPOU or UP email account in logging in and registering in Academiacs. So here's a short demo. So from my portal, you can actually see the link for Academiac study groups. So when you click it, you can actually see the landing page. You can use this section to register manually, or if you don't want to create a new password, you can use your Google account or any email that is powered by Google to create your account. But for those who have UPOU accounts or UP accounts, you can also use that. So I will be giving you this scenario wherein I have already registered. So I registered my UPOU account. So I'll just have to select it from this list and voila, I'm now here in the dashboard. It recognized my account in UPOU, which I registered previously, and it led me to the dashboard. So now, let's try to log out. I'll be using another account, which I haven't registered yet. So I can use Google Login again. Let me try this one. Okay, so now it detected that I am a new account and it has already specified my email, the email that I used, which is powered by Google, and I'll just have to specify my password, which I really don't have to remember because I will be authenticated in the future using my Google account. So this is the page where I will just put here my name, my birthday. So you will now know how old I am. My gender, my language, and if I have special needs. Since I don't, then I'll just press continue. After that, I'll have to specify my location, my time zone. Time zone is, uh, we can choose Kuala Lumpur or Hong Kong or Singapore. And the school is University of the Philippines Open University. And we can just click continue. 
So I can put my photo here in the future, but for now, I don't want to do that. So I just have to skip it. And then I will put my level and others submit. And I will have this message. Congratulations, an email has been sent to your account. Please click the link in the message to complete the sign-up process. So I'll just have to log into my email account. And click on the link. To confirm that I was really the one who registered. And now I will be in the dashboard of Academiacs. Okay, so congratulations, you have successfully registered. So I can now log out. We can try again just to test if it works. So if you've logged into your email and the session is saved in your browser, then when you click login and you select it, it doesn't actually ask for your password anymore. It directs you to the account that is linked to that email. As easy as pie. So thank you for listening to this presentation. So if you have problems, you can email me. If you detect some bugs, you can email me at rfigueroa at upou.edu.ph. Thank you so much for listening. See you once again. Bye.